the Spanish community and other uh, ethnic groups more than he did his own people. So yeah. I'm not uh, an advocate, I'm not a fan of, I'm not a, uh, as I said earlier, a, a groupie of Obama at all. Okay. Okay. In fact, I don't believe that uh, his presidency uh, really did a whole lot in, in our interest. No, brother. Okay. I know what he did in Libya, brother, but go ahead. I'm yeah. sorry. Okay. So you want me to answer? Yeah. Was it right to replace Obamacare? And you had Obamacare was you the had worst idea that's ever been fested on the American people. But they didn't put anything in place of it. Nothing has to be put in place of it. There is insurance. See, if you have no knowledge of what insurance is, mm -hmm. if you have no knowledge of you being in self-determination, mm -hmm. who's in charge of your health? The state or you? Understand what you're Who's saying. in charge? Mm -hmm. Are you willing to submit to some bureaucrat in some distant capital your health? Or are you in charge of your health? Are you saying, both of y'all, are you saying- The that way no the system was before the stupid Obamacare, <laughs> okay. if you worked and you had a job, 99% of the companies gave you insurance. Mm -hmm. I was self-employed my entire life. Mm -hmm. I bought my own insurance. Mm -hmm. That's what you have to do. You buy your own, it's like you buy your own auto insurance. You buy your own homeowner's insurance. You buy your own, uh, life insurance. Mm -hmm. So why should the federal government be involved, just like this goofy um, uh, um, Sanders, Medicare for all? The, I, bet you, I bet you Sanders doesn't even know what pays for Medicare. Let me, okay. Let me now, if you, you want me to lecture you on Medicare, I could do that you can do too. do that for another show, <laughs> okay? But you know what? Are you saying that it was okay to replace so Get rid of Obamacare and put nothing in this place. I, I didn't that say that. I'm asking. I didn't say that it was okay to get, get rid of. What I'm saying is that uh, Obamacare, as far as I know, and I don't, I'm mm -hmm. not an expert on this, but yeah. uh, I know that it hurt a lot of uh, poor people and middle class people's pockets mm -hmm. to, to, to uh, 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 partake of uh, Obamacare. I do know that much. Okay. It doubled the amount of what people were paying and it tripled the amount of their deductible. Mm -hmm. It was totally, like he mentioned before, it appealed to the gay community, it appealed oh, to all man. these other communities. Because it, the average person, like if you wanna succeed in America, go to work, stay married, raise a family, run a normal life, and you will succeed. I don't care if you're black, I don't care if you're white. You want to know what white privilege is? You want me to explain? I what know white what it is, but you right, can explain I'll tell it you to what them. It is. Okay. White privilege is a mom and a dad. So, black privilege is a mom and a dad. Red privilege is a man, a mom and a dad. Yellow privilege is a mom and a dad. Brown privilege, the wait, United Family. Wait a minute. Now, wait. as a Muslim, you should understand that family is the key to society. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Now, white privilege means to me is if we have identical um, credit ratings, you can march and then get a better interest rate than me. I'm talking about no, from the next. Yes, I you disagree. can. Disagree. But, okay. Disagree 100%. <laughs> but <laughs> white privilege is being able to shout and scream and holler at the, a policeman without getting shot in the head. You know, that's, that's part of what well, white when privilege When I was growing up, we, we had a lot of... We had a lot of on, you can go on YouTube or the internet any day and see any confrontation between a cop and a white person. And uh, in fact, I saw one where, the, where, where a white person was standing all up on top of a police vehicle. And all they did was peacefully arrest the guy. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's, that's well, an example of white privilege. You want my solution to the black problem in, well, in what's Chicago? The, what's your solution, man? <laughs> what's your solution? I believe <laughs> there's more God-fearing, uh -huh. law-abiding black folk mm -hmm. in Chicago than there are criminals. Okay, but they don't deserve reparations. They have the right <laughs> okay. to patrol their own neighborhoods. I agree with that. They have the right to patrol their own that. neighborhoods. I agree with that part. I agree with that part. There should be no white officers in the black community. <laughs> Well, there, I, there I, only I'm black sure, I'm sure the black half the white community. officers would agree with you 100%. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> no, they white officers <laughs> love patrolling the, the, good. the black community because they love taking target practice. <laughs> but I want to ask both of y'all something. Brothers, you know what? There's something called Section 8 where a person can get a house. Does a person deserve Section 8 for the rest of their life if they're able bodied? That's where they get free house. I believe. Look, let, saying, me, let me ask. Are you, they entitled let me, to let me, this? Let me answer this uh, question. I believe that everybody in America, whether rich or poor, deserves a decent roof over their show. Able body should be able to get okay. Okay. I don't know how the system. I don't know how the system is going to work it out. But I believe that you know you got all these homeless people all over Chicago and all throughout the United States. They're a human being. The, we, 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 we wouldn't let a dog walk the streets I know. of Chicago and without putting it in the And it's in all, a dog, it's all a dog cities pouch. that are controlled by the Democrats you, that have all the homeless. I've driven okay. in Seattle. Okay. I've driven in LA. You say, are you saying that a person that is an able body sitting up looking at Jerry Spring all, all day? And Murray Povich deserves Section 8, and I go to work and miss one more. No, I, I'm saying that. No, I didn't say okay, that. I'm, I'm not. To me, it's not an issue of sex, Section 8. I believe that every human being deserves a roof over their shoulder, okay. no, no matter how rich or poor. Okay. That's what I personally believe. Okay, let me in. ask you the same question. Does a person that, that is a Section 8, that is an able body, Watching Jerry Springer and all my children wow. all day deserve Section 8 for the rest of their lives. And I go out my house, damn it, and work hard all day. Let's, let's, and they're going to send me and send me let's look at the foreclosure problem. Notes. Let's look at the problem in Chicago. Okay. The problem in Chicago is there were slums on the <coughs> south side, there were slums on the west side. And mm -hmm. then they came in and they put this public housing up. Mm -hmm. And the early days of public housing, people were paying more rent. Mm -hmm. for the public housing. In the meantime, all the mother buildings got deteriorated. Mm -hmm. And then they allowed the <coughs> public housing to get deteriorated. Mm -hmm. I mean, the main reason for public housing, you know why public housing came about? After World War II, <coughs> when all these soldiers came back and they were men, they weren't children, they wanted to get married, and have families. Mm -hmm. And that's where public housing came from. It's about Section 8 now. Nowadays, well, Section 8 is to help people move into, but I agree with you, there, but that's what Donald Trump is trying to do, is bring manufacturing back in Chicago. Let me, all right, here's I'm a talking statistic. About section, I'm, I'm talking about Section 8 I'll now. Tell, all right, this, okay. this has to go with Section 8. Richard M. Daly signed the head tax in 1973. There was 400,000 manufacturing jobs in Chicago. Is that true? in 1970. All these factories left. Richard Daly probably did it thinking the black people would leave with the factories. Mm. So who's the racist? The Democrats or the Republicans? Both of them. Oh, oh both of them. <laughs> Before Donald Trump uh, got in, you had, we had how many years of George Bush who stole the election from most black voters down in uh, Florida and other places <laughs> across the country. Mm -hmm. so, every, every, him, vote, every vote count in Florida be, be, showed be, George Bush <laughs> winning. Before, before uh, George Bush, we had Clinton, and before him, we had Daddy Bush, who did hardly nothing for the black community. So uh, to accuse only, the only thing uh, you to could put do a label only on the, the Democrats. The only being thing racist, you could do for the uh, black that's community a, that's a, that's a is make sure there's great jobs, mm. and that's what Donald Trump is doing. More black people are working right now than ever in the history of America. I would, More I, Hispanic I, I don't people. That. I don't. Believe not that. in Chicago. I, I don't You're not going to see it in Chicago. But in the rest that. of the country, I don't believe that, Mr. Let me. Let me. Let me you know, we only got. Please, this is short. Do you think the sanctuary city is right? Do you think that you are entitled to something and you snuck in this country? No. Why? We only got time. No. Sanctuary city is wrong. I mean, how many illegal aliens do we have sitting in county jail that we are feeding every day where if they called ICE, they would put them back in their home countries? And this is half the country is sanctuary. I, 
I, you know what, me as being a moderator, I would say, you know what, I root with them. Because you know what, if you go to Europe without no passport, damn it, they're going to they gonna send you back. But what is your opinion well, about I, sanctuary city? Well, look, my, I'm, I'm, <laughs> look, I'm just reflecting on the fact that uh, uh, many, of these, uh, many of these big, man, 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 many of these big uh, manufacturers here in uh, Chicago are taking advantage of these, uh, these, these, immigrants, these illegal immigrants. They are, Immigrants, they are employing them on uh, dirt cheap job, dirt cheap jobs where they don't have any any benefits. I believe that that many I upper agree. echelon uh, uh, white Americans they don't they don't even care anything about the immigration issue <laughs> because they are using these people. You know what? We got three minutes left, and you know what? I'm gonna let you get a minute. You may have a finishing comment, and then I'm gonna let him get a minute. Uh, well, the only thing I'd like to say is that I respect. Uh, Mr. Smith's uh, opinion, though I disagree with it, I, I, I would like to say that uh, uh, I'm a, uh, a very opinionated uh, person, yeah. and I don't want you to think that anything that, uh, that has anything personal against you, that uh, I'm just very strong in expressing my opinion, and I respect you even though I dis disagree with what you said. Okay. All mm -hmm. I can say, Trump Tower is here in the background, <laughs> right here behind me, there's Trump mm -hmm. Tower. Isn't it great, the city of Chicago, as a 70 again. story building with the President of the United States name right on it. I mean, how <laughs> lucky can we be in Chicago? And I hope this new mayor, this okay. little. Uh, well, excuse me, brother, when does your show come on? My show is on Wednesdays at 7 30, Channel 19, oh. and Thursday at 2 30. Oh. Team Chicago Challenge, great motorcycle racing. Okay, the Flaming Crescent Society meets. Fl Flaming Crescent Society meets uh, the third Saturday of every month. For further information, call 872-800-7355. Okay, and assalamu alaikum to everybody. You're looking at the Underground Railroad. If you like this, press share with Facebook, Twitter, Periscope, whatever you do. But the Underground Railroad comes on every Saturday night at 10.30. I got these guys. You can see them on my YouTube page. <laughs> Okay, so I want to thank both of y'all for coming on, and I hope that yeah, both no of y'all will come back. Salam alaikum. I hope that you will come back. I okay? will. I hope that you will come back. Oh, no too, problem. Salim, no problem. These type of conversations, these type of things. Salam alaikum.